the Stone Age period. Now, as necessity is the mother of all inventions, there came the need to find better means of survival for early man. Man needed to be smarter during hunting expeditions. Therefore, with the development of his brain capacity, humans made improved tools out of stones. Hmm, that sounds cool. But how are they able to do that? I believe early humans discovered that by striking stones, they could produce smaller stones with sharper edges. These then became tools such as choppers, scrapers, and hand axes, although they were crude and heavy. So, this period when men relied mainly on stone-made tools and weapons became known as the Stone Age period. Now I see Stone Age. I have heard that word before. You will learn that these periods shaped man's early life greatly. But first, you need to understand that the old Stone Age period was so long, historians decided to split it into three. That is, Lower, Middle, and Upper Stone Age, or Paleolithic. And then there was the New Stone Age, or Neolithic. You mean like Lower is the earliest and Upper was the latest? Yes, Luanda. Now, they say first come, first serve. That means I will start with Lower Stone Age, or the fancier name Lower Paleolithic period, which ranged from 3 million to 200,000 years ago. Oh, you said this goes all the way back to Homo habilis. So tools must have been a huge change here from previous times. Exactly right. The pebble tools they used were called auto wand tools. Want to guess why? They were found in the old Vygodge? Yes, sir. Now, as the tools gradually became better in the old Stone Age, they became known as the Akushalian. The main reason these tools were better is because the early humans carved the stone into a point. I have heard that word before. Achulian tools. Ah, yes. Okay. What did they use the tools primarily for? They mainly used the tools to become better at hunting for food. They could trap and kill animals much easier with the items they made. The humans ate the meat raw since fire had not yet been invented. What? That's disgusting. They had different stomachs than us and had to survive somehow. In addition, they also gathered berries, fruits, and whatever else they could forage. Hence, Hunters and gatherers. When they get blood all over their shirts. What shirts? What do you mean? Uh, they walked around naked in the forest. Exactly. Since they were hairier, this protected them from the cold, and they could only build the most basic shelters, essentially putting rocks in front of where they sleep or in caves. They could communicate if danger was near, but only with simple sounds such as growls, whistling, and hand gestures. That's crazy. I still can't get over the raw meat part. When did they finally start cooking? Great transition. In the Middle Stone Age, ranging roughly 200,000 to 50,000 years ago. Now, this is when the Homo erectus was the dominant force. Since they were smarter, they made use of fire. Exactly. But they didn't have kafari matches just to strike up a gas cooker. They had to do it by rubbing sticks or stones. Can you guess how much their lives were improved? Um, I can guess. There's obvious better cooking methods, which means better food. It would be cold or scared in the dark of night anymore. Is that it? It also greatly improved their use of tool making, and fire was even used in hunting. Oh, so they burnt their stone tools to make them hot. This was done to harden the tips of the point. In addition to this, more materials were being used to make tools. No longer just stones, but sticks to tie to those stones. The actual crafting of weapons improved too, as the variety of sizes and shapes were being made. This was done with the Lavoisier method. Now, what is the difference between this new method and the old ones? In a nutshell, Lavoisier allowed flakes from a rock to be taken. This provided a much greater range of what could be made. The older methods were basically just hitting a rock until it was usable. 
These flakes are easier to use and better crafted. So, with the fire, they still don't need clothes with all that hair? Not quite. Man's vanity was developing too. They were less hairy and they began to wear animal skins along with items like necklaces from shells or pretty rocks. I see. So they began to make houses. They weren't that advanced yet, but they began having a common place of dwelling. May it be a cave or a site they set up. Fire was helpful to keep away animals from their sight. And they talked over Dean about their day? <laughs> Not quite, but communication was further developed with clicks and grunts. That have to be so annoying. When do they finally start speaking like, like we do? Or rather you, because you talk a lot. Thanks. This is a factor why much of prehistory relies on archaeology. No oral or written sources. Now, so I can stop talking, I just want to discuss the next stages briefly. Upper Stone Age and Neolithic Age. You better make upper brief. Fine. Upper Stone Age was from 50,000 to 10,000 BCE, roughly. This period saw a great rise in human migration and essentially making those who lived more, more human. Art was beginning to develop by the showing of cave art and pottery. Okay, that's it. So, what is the new Stone Age? You are eager, I see. The Neolithic Age saw the rise of humans coming together in settlements. So they finally built houses? <laughs> yes. Due to technology being greatly improved, as people began to settle down, there was a great surge in arts and craft. But why? Well, humans were now a social creature with a rough language and began to make items such as baskets and pots to further improve their lives. What does cave painting help with them? Well, you see, man began to be able to think more abstractly about the world around him. He figured if he painted deer on the wall, he would hunt more of them. This can be seen as the beginnings of religion, in a way. They did dances and rituals, wishing for rain or a good hunt. Hmm. So with these new settlements, there must have been some sort of chief. Yes, this was also the beginning of a social order. Now, tools they used were called microliths. These were much smaller and more fine, which translates to much easier to replace and wield. Don't want to carry a big rock hammer while chasing a deer. Although there was an improvement of tools, there was still a great need for better food stability. So just to grow some maize. You have no idea how agriculture developed. No. Nope. Is it important? My gosh. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, let me see. Tomorrow is Sunday. Oh, I'm off finally from school. Perfect. Let's go to my friend Sam's farm. I can bribe you with a farm fresh meal of cuckoo. I love cuckoo. Fine. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.